हेलो एवरीवन विद अस टुडे डॉक्टर अदीब अहमद खान ही सिक्योर्ड मार्क्स ऑफ 170 इन रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड एफएमजी जनवरी 2023 एग्जामिनेशन सो ए हार्टली वेलकम ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म एंड ए वेरी वेरी कंग्रेचुलेशंस टू यू फॉर गेटिंग दिस मैसिव स्कोर डॉक्टर अदीब अहमद खान प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट हाय गाइस माय नेम इज डॉक्टर अदीब अहमद खान आई सिक्योर्ड 170 मार्क्स दिस वाज माय फर्स्ट अटेंड इन एफएमजीई and uh, i pursued mbbs from china from nanjing university of chinese medicine that's very very great of you so whom do you want to give credit of this success uh the credit definitely goes to my parents first because they helped me a lot you know they have been there with me since very beginning so dr adeep please tell us what was your source of preparation for this examination uh my source of preparation you know the primarily it was uh, nlc coaching only i joined it in uh, this, uh, june 2022 i went to delhi and i joined it there though i have the subscription of prep ladder but i did not focused a lot on that you know i just saw uh, videos of one or two subjects there uh, pharmacology and uh, uh, one more subject uh, but the prime source of my you know Mm, teaching was nlc coaching only so what was your uh, last month strategy and also tell us about your last week strategy uh, the last month strategy i you know uh, my strategy definitely you know i just focused on revision only because uh, there was no need to study extra in the last month because i could not revise those subjects or those topics so i just kept on revising you know for the how how well how much time i could revise i just kept on revising only uh, so that i could not forget any topic in the exam and in the last week i just concluded everything which i have studied and i just gave some gts and i solved the previous year questions and have been have been through the you know some questions which i bookmarked on uh, other apps or on my nlc a uh, booklet and everything so i just you know concluded whatever i have studied or whatever i have you know bookmarked uh, anywhere so this was, this was my prime you know strategy for the last week yeah great great doctor adi so also tell us a lot of student gonna ask us on telegram or on various platforms that they should prefer for online coaching or offline coaching this is a, a question which comes in mind of every student going to prepare for this exam so please enlighten them uh online or offline both are good i would say but uh, it definitely definitely depends on the mindsets of the children or students i would say uh like uh, if you have to talk about me i i though i had the preparation of uh, subscription subscription of prep ladder but uh, you know i was not consistent enough i could not give uh, more than 2 2 hours of uh, my time to uh prep ladder so i decided to join offline coaching but if any student you know is capable enough to give uh 8 or 10 hours per day to online source so i would say you know choose online because you know the content will be highly weighted content will be there and uh the questions uh, will be very you know it will be in very good amount so you are going to have a very good atmosphere you know online in terms you can explore you have you, you can explore lots of questions there varieties of questions will be there but the only problem which i face you know uh, i could not I, i was not consistent enough you know while studying online apps so i decided to join online but both are good both are good for fmg you can join any anything so summarizing what dr adeep said is if you go for any online app or any online coaching then you should be consistent with it you should be sitting with the, your tab in front of you and sitting for at least 6 to 8 hours if you can do this then online coaching is good if you can't sit at one place for a long time then you can go for offline coaching obviously they will use to talk to you in between and also used to motivate in between so that's all what you want to say definitely definitely that's great that's great so also tell me like how many hours you used to sleep every day in the last few months in the last 20 days i remember my <laughs> I, i was just busy in only three things uh, i was sleeping for 6 hours and uh, 16 to 14 hours i was busy in studying only because i had to conclude 
whatever i have studied in the last 6 or 7 months and one hours for my uh, lunch dinner <laughs> and so in the last uh, you know 20 days the schedule was very hectic and uh, uh, th- these are those times you know uh, which really uh, which which really you know uh, if the student is focused on these times because uh, they have been in the journey from for 6 months and or, already they are you know uh, they are very much burdened by the syllabus and all but the last uh, uh, 10 or 20 days uh, don't lose the hope you know because uh, once you will be success uh, you will get success, success in your life definitely these last 10 or 20 days it will be remember forever mm, very very great dr adeep actually these 170 marks are just a result of you know the lack of uh, sleep you did the sacrifice you did for these 170 marks actually it is a dream of many students and uh, obviously they can learn a lot from you so any message to those who couldn't make it this time do teen char marks se reh gaye kuch tips unke liye definitely uh, the first and the foremost thing you know don't keep yourself demotivated you know you have seen this journey you have seen all the scenarios you are, you are now you know uh, you are an experienced guy right now so you know what sorts of things that are left uh, you know which is very unfortunate because people uh, the students are not selected but now uh, definitely i would say don't give any anything extra now on your study uh, but just keep on revising keep on solving the questions and just keep yourself motivated you know motivation is something which is very important now rather compared to you know revision and question solving because it will be done uh, definitely it will be done uh, but first of all keep yourself motivated don't demotivate yourself that's that's great message from your side so tell me how many gts you have given and how did you review them what is your strategy to make a gt useful for this preparation i gave gt in in two different platforms uh, one gt i gave in my coaching only where i joined for the preparation there i secured 160 marks and the last two gts i gave on the maro platform there i secured 180 in one gt and 188 in other so uh, these three gts i gave and uh, definitely i would suggest gt is very important because uh, you know once once you give the gt your mindset will be very clear because you know uh, the scenario of the exam uh, will be very much similar to the scenario which we are you know facing while giving the gt 150 marks will be there uh, two parts will be there so once you give the gt two three gt if you will give definitely your mindset will be very open and very clear so gt is very important don't leave that uh, so please gt is good gt is crucial i would say gt is very crucial so whatever you have said you said it very correctly every student must attend gts before the exam because it gives you the courage to fear the real exam you know you get a you get an idea before the real exam that how the real exam can be and you get that courage also that is you know priceless when you enter the exam hall you are all confident and you enter with courage you know that only comes when you give a lot of gts so that is that and my last question to you dr adeep is any message any specific short concise message to the juniors so that they can follow you and be on the right path the only message to the juniors you know just because they have good amount of time right now so just buy any subscription for any online platform and try to finish the uh, part 1 of the examination of all the 10 subjects uh, pre clinical and clin- uh, uh, pre clinical and para clinical because it will help them to you know the uh, to you know create that foundation it's definitely going to help uh, once they are going to study the clinical aspects so and last five minor subjects don't leave that mm, that's great So, Dr. Adib Ahmed Khan, I'm really happy for you, and I wish you a very, very best of luck for your future, and I wish you a very, very success. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you.